just standing on a hill looking across at the sunset. It's getting a bit cold actually. So I'm watching the light on the water. It looks like Golden Cap got a bit of a light show. And the rest of the inland it's rather misty. But I'm at the Knoll. And it's somewhere I kind of saw when I was looking around researching places and went, ooh. And I saw a picture of it and I was like, I on Google. And I was like, that's interesting. I wonder if I can get there. And uh, then I went to Home Farm and then I saw on the map a knoll. And I was like, ah. So by accident, I mean, I wanted to come to this area, but I'd forgotten in part why I wanted to come to this area. And I did a church. Uh, I did a church. I did a church. Yeah, I did a church. Uh, I did a drawing of uh, Punk Knoll Church because Home Farm is now near Punk Knoll, spelt P U N C K N O L L E. And interesting how old the church is because the main bit of church is sort of one of those classic sort of Victorian retro y sort of redos. But it has one of those very old sort of single tower ones. You know, a single tower was like, that is old. And also they still have their original cross or, you know, meeting stone or what you want to call it. Um, every village, or nearly every village, the reason why you get so many places saying so-and-so stone, so-and-so cross, is because there would usually be a... A uh, stone cross, or a stone pillar, or a stone in the centre. It's in the churchyard at Punk Knoll, and I was like, oh, that's old as well. So, yeah, it's a very interesting village. If I said that Sir Nebus is quite wicked, man, I think there's a little bit of that in, in, in Punk Knoll. If that's him saying it right, you know, it's a bit like milk plash. And I've just finished a painting of the Knoll, which is a ruin on the top of a hill, and it has secrets, because right next to it, in the bramble, which you can't see in my painting, but it's very hard to see it anyway, uh, I even found, I think, a vole or a rat, I'm not sure, when I was trying to get to it, I was like, something, something scurried away, and it was definitely rodenty. Is There's two circular things, it looks like either there's a bunker underneath, or there's a Oh, there was, or more likely there was a gun emplacement here. So I don't know if the knoll was built for that, but it looks older. And it also looks much more residential, because it had two floors, and it had, uh, or has, had two floors, isn't it, anymore. But someone must keep it up, because the the roof is still there. The rest of the other door is empty, and the windows are empty and so that. But also that there was obviously two floors and there's a fireplace originally on both floors as they filled up the second fireplace but uh there yeah so i need to do some research into the history of the knoll but it's an amazing view of the of the sea i was thinking of going down to west bexington because usually i wouldn't do that because they'd be like oh i've got to get back and oh buses blah 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 uh, obviously, uh, I'm near a sort of... Well, it was always the case that I could go for a walk on the on the cliffs or whatever at night, but it was... Where I was was placed cliffs that kind of very uppy, downy, and the weather's been so changeable. Something rushed by me. Ooh, this is the grass. Maybe it's another rodent. Um, yeah, it's so changeable, but I know the roads are not walkable. Whereas here... You've got the main horrible road, the Dorset motorway going through, which I took the bus on. And also there, that was a fun thing with the bus. I didn't realise. I thought I'd seen Punk Knoll before. And it turns out that during the week, some of the, or maybe all of the X-53s go to Punk Knoll. Just so they don't go there on a Sunday. So, of course, I choose the day to go there. So there, I got really exhausted getting to the campsite. Yeah, after I spoke to to you on the last little segment it was just like oh (laughs) yeah the last bit took a lot out of me but the campsite's nice very old school very camping and caravanning club signs everywhere saying you know no no ball games this is not for drinking put this here do this here and it's like oh i mean sometimes i feel like i'm in sightseers except there's less murder going on 
I think the last bit might be negotiable. But yeah, I... <laughs> It, it 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 is very bizarre, but um, but lovely. I run by some old quite old people, and um, they gave me a, a a quiet spot because I was worried about the wind. So I've got a sheltered spot. That unfortunately, only gets solar. I think up, up to about afternoon. But given I picked up my new battery, and my new battery, when it was raining this morning and all horrible. And we've got a little bit of sunshine, but it was, you know, I only got the end of last, it, it managed to charge up to 47% or 40 odd percent. And it was even, even charging up on the kind of like the UV that was reflected away, you know, that wasn't direct, indirect UV. I was like, that's impressive. So, you know, not very much, but it was flashing like I'm getting charged. So, that's positive signs. So, I, I've got a lot more confidence. It was the old battery which uh, unfortunately is no more, or I, I don't have it anymore, um, it would be, you know, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be confident, but yeah, the new battery is, is, is good. Um, so I'm glad I made that call, even though it's a fucking faff to go to Bridport Co-op, because in Bridport, all the big shops, in the centre you've got Waitrose, which is going to go very much stuff, and it's quite expensive for the Waitrose, um, and you've got spa, but they're really tiny, and the real supermarkets are uh, all about fifteen twenty minute walk, um, and you just don't want to do that with a big rucksack. If you don't want to do it for a stop, they're just long walks um, along more usually busy roads. But around here, the roads are really quiet. I mean, I walked up Clay Lane to get to the Knoll. I was just walking up Clay Lane, and anyway, I was suddenly swung them out. Went ooh. So I had to paint it. And that I saw one car and it was stopped and idling. I think it had been taking a picture. That was it. You know, and I was like, okay, we can walk on these roads. These roads are quiet. And also the there's the bull that won't have any lights, but I've got my I've got my I've got my I've got my torch. Um you've also got the very old lane. This is the thing, I'm just really getting vibes that punk knoll is really fucking old school uh when it comes to i don't i don't know my i haven't looked up the history of the place yet but the really old church the really old the, the cross it was headless it was headless cross so the, the loss of cross but it was just the you know, thing in the base which i assume has moved but might not have might have always been there but I assume usually it's in the center of the town where the crossroads is or where the where the market is or the meeting place is but the yeah, and and then that really old track, you know, with the that started out with like, it's just a footpath, but with really butch rocks, you know, really butch sort of like, possibly even Roman timesy type, like you know, like, but sort of right, it's been done. And you think you see dips down the side, and you think, aha, this is a, this is an old road or trackway, and then it went into the proper trackway, but it was all like, yeah, this is this is this is old school. So, yeah, I need to look up, but I assume it's a pre Dimsday village, um, pre ten sixty six. Uh, possibly, yeah, I'm probably a lot older. Whereas the knoll isn't, but I need to, yeah, I need to look up that one as well. Yeah, because I usually don't look up. I mean, I do some research, <laughs> badly, <laughs> but I do some research quite often. But I don't, um, I don't tend to do too much of that because otherwise you end up kind of having an itinerary and go oh, I'm going to here, I'm going to go here you know and that depends so much on the weather and mood and stuff like that I mean there are things as I say even though I've moved away from Golden Cap I want to go back and, and draw and paint the St Gabriel's Chapel ruin um, and I can do that with the bus but easier during the week not weekends um, you know, stuff like that. So, and then weirdly, I get back very late from Chalmers. There is like an eight o'clock-ish bus, even, uh, there's there's like a late bus the other way, on, on Saturday, like seven like past seven or nearly eight, but there's actually a, the bus, the bus I got back, or one of the buses I got back, one of the last buses, are the last buses on the, on the thing. The buses come back here later. So it would be kind of easier to do a painting over there than come back on the bus than it would be to, do the reverse it late so but yes 
but yeah, I need to find a, a way to get to St. Gabriel's Chapel without going over Golden Gap. I think I can go over the, the, the cheating car park. I mean, I've done it, so I can say I've done it, but no, I don't really want to do it again. Uh, at some point I will, but not at the moment. So yes, so uh, change of plan. I was going to put one of the windy trees as the unless I put this into a separate podcast, which I might actually do as well. Actually, I probably will do that. So scrub that. Yeah, scrub, all that se- previous section. I was talking about the previous podcast, but yeah, you know, I think I'll make this a separate podcast. But the the thing is, is uh, yes, it's on Fabriano, a Rosapina paper. Uh, with fountain pen uh, the paper started to fall apart unfortunately because it's not purely cotton it's only a cotton mix um, had some problems with obviously doing a bit too much wet on wet it's not as warm today so it, you know you can get a lot of bleed so I had some fun with that and then it started to disintegrate when I was trying to take it off um, but no, I'm pretty proud of it I was trying to make it not it started out being very magic cottage very very Thomas Kincaid and I was like no nope, we're not doing that <laughs> but I, I like the, um, the greenery on the, on the front of it the, the, sort of the, the, the sort of the very abstract greenery at the, uh, that's that's good in the sky behind which is what it is it's the top of a hill and I'm sitting low down so you've got this low view um, so yes that will be the artwork for this and then the next and the previous one I'll do the windy Windy trees. So anyway, I've gone booked in for do the Georgian for food tomorrow. Tonight I'm going to go back. Not well. I don't know how it'll be dark or not, but I'll do some. Uh, there's probably some people. Someone coming over and say, "Oh no, you can't do that." But um, I will do some um, gnocchi probably or some pasta. I have a mountain of pasta, but uh, yeah, I've got, I've got to use up those. I've got several of those heavy. Um, sauce things, so I need to reason them up, and, and it's just part of the. But I've also got some red wine. That was another thing that was, yeah. I think I was carrying up um, extra food and granola because I couldn't find any of the Kellogg's variety things. That's, that was heavy. So a bag of granola, gluten free granola, and then you've got wine and stuff like that. So, you know, that that kind of added to it because it's my usual pack of things, and I've been trying to reduce it down, and then I go shopping, and then. Because, as I said, no shops around here. So, um, or they are, but they're they're kind of farm shops, and they're kind of really spread out. And in fact, I might actually go through one if I want to go wandering now, if it, before it goes a bit too dark, I might locate one and have a look. It won't be open, but it'd be nice to find out where it is for later. But yeah, looking in the bus, I was like, yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> you know, there's bits in. Uh, um, Burton Braddock, which is the stop before, which has got the hive. So, that, kind of like during the day, walking along the, this coast, there will be cafe things. Yes, that's fine, yeah, but not so many. And there's Texaco there as well, which has a little shop. So, there is a shoppy there. Um, but if I'm jumping on the bus, well, it depends how long far it is to walk. It might be walkable. But if I'm jumping on the bus, I may as well go to Bridport or Weymouth. Seriously, I'm kind of equidistant now sort of i think albert's uh, is more maybe middle but it's i'm sort of between the two so i can either way you know and um you know so we'll we'll see but i managed to get my milk which was good that was the thing i was bothered about because no oat milk or any form of milk i can't have any cereal so anyway i'll speak to you soon